Hey guys, we are here in Little Rock actually doing an outdoor event today down by the river. It's going to be amazing. Jake Hamilton's leading. Brian Head Welch is here. We are here with James and uh, I just want to share my heart a little bit. I met this guy four months ago, but I had heard from his pastor about the effect that he was having about on people, praying for people, healing, going after miracles, believing the gospel, sharing Jesus everywhere you go. And so four months ago, we come here, uh, actually it was in June, and they asked us to come to the hospital to pray for this guy because he had fallen off a zip line. And so they said, you know, it's possible quadriplegic, we're believing God for healing. And who knows, we all want to see that no matter what. And I'm telling you that like Jesus is so amazing. This guy walks in healing. I walk in healing. We both believe the gospel. I go to meet him. I see his beautiful little girls. And I think your sister was there too. Yeah, your my sister was Briley. Yeah. And your daughter Briley, Briley was there too. Both same two same names. Name, same name. My daughter's going to freak out. Yeah. <laughs> Cuz we were there that day and he couldn't move. The only thing he could move a little bit of his foot and, and uh, he was just in bed all hooked up to stuff. He shared his heart a little bit. We prayed for him. I know my whole team was there and uh, we filmed this the doctor's report bad 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 bad. But Jesus' report obviously wasn't to be a quadriplegic because here he is four <laughs> months later and Jesus made this guy whole. I'm just going to ask James to share his heart just for a second. But this is amazing. I love it so much. I got to see him today and I just, whoo, Jesus loves us so much, guys. Never give up. Yeah. Here. <clears throat> so, uh, yeah, like Todd said, and I started praying for the sick, I guess. A uh, little over 10 years ago, after after watching Todd do it, and I said, man, I'm, I'm going to do it too. <laughs> you know, if this guy can do it, so can I. So uh, and started going after it, and then started see, seeing healings every day, or just about every day. I don't want to exaggerate and say there wasn't a day that went by that I didn't see it, but, man, seeing thousands of healings, all kinds of amazing stuff, and just seeing the love of God touch people. Uh, then June 5th of this year, 2022, uh, I fell off a zip line was actually dead. Did you know I died? That's what your friend was telling us. Yes, yeah, so I died for, we don't know, around 10 to 15 minutes and uh, was resurrected from the dead. Uh, they said, well, okay, he's back, but this is like one of those Chris Reeves, Superman accidents. You'll, quadriplegia uh, was the diagnosis. That means nothing below my neck may ever work again. And uh, I told him, you don't know Jesus. Uh, Todd came, he, he and his crew, and prayed. And uh, you know, when man doesn't have a way, God has a way. That's right, man. And uh, I'm just, I'm so thankful. But uh, God's promises, they're, they're true. They're yes and amen. And man, I just praise God for people that, that walk in it, believe in it, not based on what you see, but on the truth. Amen. So, uh, amen. I love you. He's a walking, talking miracle that doctors say you are a miracle there's yes. nothing short of a miracle guys don't believe the doctor's report believe the report of jesus this man's walking talking and praying for people and people <laughs> are still getting healed he was praying for people that were getting healed in the hospital when he could hardly move they were just touching his arm and he'd release healing <laughs> guys this is for everybody yeah it's so amazing don't don't ever limit jesus don't let him flow through you let him touch the world and let him raise up quadriplegics people that have died resurrected from the dead and quadriplegic no more all four limbs are working and he's out there preaching the gospel love you guys bless you